this video reviews three examples involving factorising. Now, the first question has got x squared, take 12x plus 27. So this is one of the double bracket types of factorising. There's an x squared there, so I need an x and an x. Now the two numbers in the bracket must times to make 27, but must add to make minus 12. Now if they times to make a positive number, but add to make a negative number, they must both be negative. And the factor of 27 will be 9 and 3, or 1 and 27. Now 9 plus 3 is 12. So if I put a minus 9 and a minus 3 down there, then minus 9 times minus 3 is plus 27, but minus 9 take 3 is minus 12. So this is therefore the factorised form of our given expression. Now if we're then asked to solve this question here, observe how it's the same expression. So this is the same as x minus 9 and x minus 3 equals 0. So I must find two values of x which make these brackets equal to 0. Well, if x is plus 9, then 9 take 9 is 0. So x equals plus 9 is one solution. But also, if x equals 3, then 3 take 3 is 0. So these are therefore the two solutions to the given equation. Now the final example asks to factorise y squared to take away 10. Now this is a special case called the difference of two squares. This is y squared, this is 10 squared. So this is also a double bracket. I need a y and a y. But to get a minus 100, I put a plus 10 and a minus 10. 10 times minus 10 is minus 100. But there are no y's because 10y take away 10y cancel out. So this therefore expands to give y squared take away 100. And again, that's called the difference of two squares.